We've been trying to work with China for the last 10 years, but we keep running into obstacles with the US Congress and something called the Wolf Amendment. But we're, I am personally very impressed and very encouraged by China's progress, both in human spaceflight and in robotic spaceflight. When you talk about efforts to work together, I mean, it seems that you would be supportive of these initiatives, but do you worry perhaps that given the political environment, given the broader tensions between the U.S. and China, that this is just not going to be a possibility in the near future? Uh, I worry that it may not be a possibility in the near future because of um, people looking for uh, a reason to be in competition with China instead of in partnership with them. Uh, all I, I encourage people to look at the way we operate with the Russians. We're probably not, uh, that's probably one of our worst diplomatic and political uh, partners right now. And yet uh, they are perhaps our biggest partner on the International Space Station and have been for the entire 20 plus years on the International Space Station. And it's because of the people uh, involved and not, not the countries and the politicians. All right. Uh, so good morning to me joining in this conversation. What is, I mean, what's the end goal here? What's the ultimate goal here in terms of proving their dominance in outer space? I get on, on Mother Earth what they're trying to do in terms of, you know, fighting it out geopolitically, in terms of, you know, just proving their military dominance, uh, one versus the other. But what's the end goal, you think, for uh, both countries uh, in, in their space missions and space ambitions? Tanvir, I, you know, quite honestly, I think both countries are trying to do the same thing, and that is to excel in the areas of science and technology um, to carry out the goals that have been established for the United States. Uh, Mars has been a goal of ours for decades. Uh, President Obama made it uh, one of his primary objectives, but other presidents before him had done that. President Trump continued that, that desire, and President uh, Biden has now said the same thing. We're going back to the moon this decade, and then hopefully in the 2030s on to Mars. And that, that really has not changed. Uh, the funding for it and the support that comes from the Congress fluctuates and goes up and down. I think China is the same way. They've established some pretty firm goals. They're very fortunate in that, um, you know, because they're a communist country, uh, they set goals and, and they can follow them because they don't change the leadership uh, every four years the way that we do. Um, but but they have been speaking to us about wanting to go to the moon and Mars for, for quite some time. And, and, and when we originally talked to them in 2010 in the Obama administration, they were very interested in a partnership. And so from the moon to the Mars, and is it going to be beyond? Like what happens next in terms of furthering uh, this this plan and this program for both countries? Uh, you know, we're talking about Venus exploration as well. How far do they yeah. go? I think um, I would not be surprised at all to see China try to catch up with the other nations of the world who are uh, trying to leave our solar system as, as NASA and the U.S. have done with the Voyager spacecraft that, that left the solar system some years ago. Um, we're going back to Venus because we now have indications that there, in spite of what we earlier thought because Venus is such a hostile planet, um, some of the indications now from scientific data says there may actually be some types of life, uh, maybe microbial life on Venus. And we, so we now want to go there. NASA has two missions scheduled over the next, I think, 10 years to, to go to Venus. And I would expect that China will, will probably do likewise. The, the scientific community, which, which pretty much sets the course for, uh, for the type of work that's going on in space, um, is, a, is an international community. And they meet mm -hmm. in fora and, uh, and they come to conclusions as to where we should go. So I, I won't be surprised to see China kind of follow suit with a lot of the work that the U.S. is doing. 